Alright, so today we're going to be doing part 4 of building the 2-speed fully suspension off-road go-kart. Now in this, uh, it, in this video, what we're going to be doing is uh, trying to get the steering wheel installed, getting the steering column, getting the floor pan installed. I need to add a couple more uh, tubing pieces to both sides right here to strengthen this whole thing up. Uh, we also are going to try and uh, install the engine, getting all that stuff hooked up. And, uh, and then at some point in this video, I'm going to have to, uh, once I finish in, you know, adding most of the stuff on this frame, then I can go back and take everything off and finish welding everything all the way out. But anyway, let's just uh, keep working on it and see how far we get. So I just finished adding all these extra pieces that I wanted to add to the frame. All of these pieces here, 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 all these side pieces over here. Just all this angled stuff to strengthen the frame up and give it a little bit more character to it. And um, now I still need to do some kind of stuff with the whole back end over here. But I'm not entirely sure what I want to do yet just because I, I need to add the gas tank first and then build this stuff around the gas tank. So for now, let's just leave the back end how it is, and um, you know the front end is good. I am going to be adding a piece of sheet metal onto here, but that's in a little bit. Maybe in this video, maybe in the next video, who knows? But uh, so with this stuff, I added this little scoop right here. You know, with the the one over here, it's a little bit higher. The one over here, you know, it's a lot lower, so therefore it is, it makes it so where it is a lot easier to you know be able to get in. The frame right here, it's a lot easier to, you know, slide in here. Now, we did also finish the steering. I know I, you know, recorded in the last video of this project, uh, welding those little brackets onto the spindles where the ball joint attaches to, but I did not add, I did not weld them on the, in the correct way and in the correct spot. I welded them a little bit too high and not angled in enough, so therefore it did have bump steer. So just know that I did fix that off camera. I, you know, cut those off and I welded on new ones. And uh, I did eliminate bump steer and I made it to where it steers a lot better. And right now that is as far as the steering goes. That way and that way. And it's really, I honestly wish it steered a little bit more just because, um, you know, this is a massive go-kart and I wanted to be able to turn corners really well. But, you know, for now, it works pretty well and I can always, you know, fine tune it 
a little bit later on, but um, yeah, for now it works. So next thing we need to do is we need to go back and take off everything that you know that that can come off this frame: the tires, the shocks, the steering wheel, the seat, all this stuff. We need to take off the frame and then finish welding the entire frame together. I finally finished adding most of the stuff that I wanted to add to this frame. So. Now we can go back and finish welding everything on. If you've noticed, I've only been tacking everything on. The reason I've been doing that is because that's the way I build this kind of stuff. It's just it, I tack it on for now. So therefore, um, if I don't weld it in the correct spot, if I need to move it, if I need to re remove it and you know weld it on in a different spot, it's a lot easier to, to just break a tack than to you know completely weld it all together, find out that it's in the wrong spot and I need to move it, therefore you gotta cut it off. It's just honestly way easier to just tack it on for now and then once I'm 100% sure I'm, I know where everything needs to go, then I go back and I finish welding everything together. So that's the next step right now. We need to take everything off and uh, finish welding this entire frame together. So right now I'm trying to figure out the gearing of this whole thing. I'm trying to figure out if the gearing is correct, if I need to 
put this a bigger or smaller sprocket. I'm pretty sure this setup is pretty good. Right now I'm just trying to figure out, you know, is this sprocket too big or not, you know, not big enough or something like that. So let's put it in first gear and uh, see what it does. So that obviously being first gear, I think it's that is going to do great because for first gear I really want to have a lot of torque. And for second gear, that's the gear I want to have more speed. So let's see, let's see what this is like. Ah, I just, hang on. Tighten that back up and try again. It's a little nerve-wracking, but I think it's, um, I have no idea the RPM of this drill. I, I could probably figure that out by quick Google, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be fast enough. These are really big tires. These engines do have a lot of RPM, so this was more just testing it out just to see what it would do. Plus, uh, it was really, it was really cool, so I wanted to try it, so... So I just cut out this piece of sheet metal for the for the hood of the go-kart. And it is there it is. Alright. This is what it looks like with it on. Now, I'm I'm not entirely sure if I like it or not. I mean, it does it, it is pretty cool, but it does make the go-kart look a little, a little bit smaller. Um, it does take away some of the cool aspects of the bare frame look. I like the bare frame look. And um, also, one fear I do have is however I at you know attach this onto the frame, if I weld it, if I rivet it, or if I glue it on here, I'm still afraid that there's still going to be some aspect of if you when you know when you start the engine, all you're going to hear is that. This is extremely loud with um, the way it is. Now, it's not attached, I know, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little a pain to try and get rid of all that noise. I mean, maybe if I weld the entire thing on here, maybe that will get rid of it, but there's still going to be some, uh, you know, there's still going to be a chance of it just making that noise when you ride it, when it's every single bump and all that kind of stuff. But I may be able to get rid of that with some adhesive or something like that. Now, let me know what you guys think. Should I leave this on here? Should I take it off? Or should I add more paneling? Should I possibly cover up all this stuff right here? Maybe add a plexiglass 
uh, wind strain or something like that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think and uh, ow. That's sharp. Gotta get it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of uh, what it looks like. Should I do? What should I do? Let me know. Now I'm probably gonna have to end the video right here just because this video is long enough. I'm I'm flying out in two days to Texas to the uh, Pate Swap Meet. If you uh, haven't heard about this already, I'm gonna be going down to Texas at the uh, Pate Swap Meet. I'm gonna be down there at the Go Power Sports booth on April 28th, I believe. I'll put more information on the screen below. But uh, yeah, I need to actually get ready for that and upload this video. This is uh, Monday. Normally, I like to upload videos on Sunday. But this video, this uh, couple of weeks have been uh, pretty busy with everything, trying to get a logo and all that kind of stuff before Texas. So I've been a little uh, busy running around with everything. Now I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me all the parts I used for this project, all the tires, the shocks, the steering wheel, the seat, and uh, engine performance parts, all this kind of stuff. I have to thank Go Power Sports. I'll be leaving links in the description below too. All the parts I used in this video, go check all that out. Now, uh, I honestly wanted to get more work done in this video. I wanted to possibly get it running in this video, but we didn't get that done. It's you know, it's almost ready to get it running. Probably, I don't want to make any promises, but probably in the next video, I'll, I'll be able to get this running. Not riding, but at least running. With the whole gearing, uh, I need to play around with more, just because I'm not entirely sure you know, how powerful, this is the first 420cc Predator engine I've ever used, so I'm not entirely sure how powerful they really are. So I'm not sure if it's going to struggle moving this frame or if it's going to have plenty of power. You know, with the whole two-speed transmission I'm adding, I'm going to have to play around with both. Anyway, all that details will be in the next video. i got to end the video here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and have a nice day.